I would, I would argue, I would just say things like insulin resistance are primarily going to be driven through inflammation and insulin totally. resistance would, it, it's kind of all connected, right? That's insulin what it is. Resistance, That's the answer. That's excess the answer. carbohydrates, grains, That's the processed answer. It's stuff. It's insulin resistance. It's all connected. So, so uh, you know what? I'm glad you said that because I screwed up and missed that. So all, so high estrogen symptoms is insulin resistance. Right. That's 100% the answer. And again, most people miss this. So if yep. you are again, fat and inflamed, it's 98.9% likely that you have se severe insulin resistance. Yeah. I think that's so, great. And you mentioned a bunch of things that you were doing for that. Obviously all the exercise things you mentioned, the berberine, right? You, I think you mentioned metformin as well. I imagine yes. you're probably doing some B12 with that because I know there's yes, a B12 absolutely. Full weight. with that. Yeah. I take Full a weight. very, a very, very complex. Uh, I take uh B right from Jaro formulas. Yeah. Yep. 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 Absolutely. So let's talk Anything about that. Else? So yeah, let's talk about that. So if you're, if you're going to go on therapeutic hormones, what we now know, and this is very cutting edge tip of the spear stuff, is you cannot optimize the endocrine system without also optimizing the thyroid, the pancreas, yeah. and the pituitary. Now, you already know this because you're a functional medicine freak and you know all these things. But yeah. the average guy prescribing this shit doesn't know this, especially right. for women. I mean, do right. you have any idea how many people go on, you know, again, testosterone, progesterone, estrogen, you know, depending on age, you know, perimenopausal, postmenopausal, whatever. And they're not optimizing the thyroid. Oh yeah. Well, especially like, on the hair what? loss side, on the hair loss side, for oh, sure. Dude, it's yeah. crazy though. How yeah. often you see this. So, you know, yeah. I like to say this, it's a triune. If you're going to go on hormonal mm -hmm. optimization. And again, for me, if you're 45 and you're in America with this, and we haven't talked about this before, you know, we end the show, but I mean, look, man, at the end of the day, we are being bombarded, bro. I, I right. mean, you can't from the blue light, from the plastic in the water. I mean, this is the best water on the planet. It's still in a plastic bottle. I mean, I could yeah. pour it in metal if I wanted to, right? But right. just more work. But I mean, we have to be so overly proactive in type A to you know, intervene, if not avoid, this horrific biochemical onslaught to us. So at the end of the day, if you're going to look to hormonal optimization, in my opinion, you have to at 40 to 45, again, depending on your level of leanness and your inflammation. Uh, I'm saying... The way it's done right is, again, depending on your woman or man, age, it's looking at um, free testosterone to see if you're eligible to start, you know, obviously the therapeutic route. It's supplementing with uh, desiccated slash porcine thyroid, again, relative to your, yeah. you know, relative to your uh, metabolic issues and insulin resistance. And then, of course, you have to control for insulin. And, you know, again, I, 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 obviously I'm the biggest metformin homer in the world. I've written an article that's, you know, cited on the Harvard education review, you know, it's 10,000 words on metformin, but I am a big metformin advocate because of all the things it doesn't do outside of the great stuff it does for insulin suppression, right? It's, it can stop tumor formation and increases acromancia. I mean, it does so many amazing things, 